this is uh, largely what drives me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, an Israeli born. Uh, first generation of Jews have been born after the creation of the State of Israel, the recreation of the State of Israel, modern State of Israel, and uh, only one generation after the Holocaust. Uh, so uh, if there is one thing that is uh, driving uh, my generation, hopefully would drive my children's generation, is uh, the commitment to assure the, uh, not only existence, uh, but the thriving of uh, of uh, of the Jewish uh, people. So uh, number one is to make sure that Israel is uh, is strong and continues to develop and grow. Uh, and I think that we are doing uh, not uh, a bad job uh, in that. Uh, take any measurement and see the accomplishments of Israel. I doubt. Uh, maybe it's not too modest of me to say, but I doubt that they are uh, uh, paralleled. Uh, maybe not even precedented. Uh, but uh, this does not uh, come without effort. And this uh, is achieved with uh, much sweat and blood, unfortunately, and, uh, and uh, great spirit. And these are all uh, have to be uh, maintained and developed and uh, transferred from generation to, to the next. Then we have uh, for uh, the Jews of the, uh, who live in the diaspora, uh, a challenge uh, of uh, living in an era of choice uh, where uh, uh, to continue to be Jewish is not a matter of a uh, natural uh, uh, course of events. It is a choice that a person needs to make. I want to, to be Jewish. I want to feel proud about being Jewish. I feel that this is the best thing that ever happened to me, that I belong to the Jewish people. So in uh, my grandparents' generation, or, or obviously uh, six, seven generations ago, this was not an issue. You were born Jewish, uh, you, uh, you died Jewish, uh, your children are, uh, are uh, raised Jewish. This is a major challenge in an era of choice, to give your young people the tools to make an educated choice. Uh, uh, and in, in our case, especially a nation that had lost a third of its uh, members uh, only 65 years ago in the Holocaust, Every Jew counts, and we want to give every young Jew the opportunity of, uh, of, uh, of being able to make an educated choice. And the third, if I may, and uh, this too is, uh, is something that we need to invest in, is making sure that this uh, connection and relationship uh, and mutual care between Israel and uh, the Jewish communities in the world continues to be as strong as it is, uh, as it is today. And again, uh, we are blessed with a sense, almost in our genes, of a mutual Jewish responsibility. But we should take nothing for granted, neither Israel's strength, nor uh, the choice of our young Jews, nor the connections. We can take for granted one thing, that if we work on it, we have the best chance of succeeding.